Well, my definition of beauty is the opposite of vulgarity. You know, lines last longer, details last longer, good design lasts longer, bad design is, is very ephemeral. And of course, from my point of view, from my experience, geometric shapes last for thousands of years, while instead, you know, personal shapes have a very short life. And I'm not interested in ephemeral design. Everything is aimed in that direction, to fight ugliness, but even more to fight vulgarity. In 1972, we did a diagram for the New York subway. It stayed on until 79. In 79, they changed the nomenclature of the lines, so the, automatically the map was obsolete. We received a tremendous amount of requests for bringing it up to date, redesigning, whatever it is. And finally, a couple of years ago, in 2008, we decided to bring it up to date, in a sense. The basic form is still, you know, similar. The configuration of the line has changed somehow because the color of the line has changed. Also, we correct some of the mistakes of the first one, so it was a great opportunity for doing that. So it is really a much more improved uh, version of the map we had originally. You know, you see how things have been done by others and you like to see how you would have solved that problem. And, uh, and after a while that becomes really part of your nature, it becomes, uh, becomes you. You spend all your life thinking about it. You know? And when finally the opportunity comes, you're ready. You already know how to ask, what to ask and how to face that particular situation. And, um, and your answer comes quite natural. But I'm very happy to report that it is much easier today than it used to be 50 years ago to a certain extent because the quality of education that there is now is, was not available 50 years ago. When we got to New York, uh, the quality of design was just about zero. They only had companies like Knoll or Miller, you know, that were doing nice furniture and so on. Most of the other uh, companies were offering terrible furniture, you know, French provincial, Spanish provincial, television sets were in, a, you know, in Mexican provincial kind of a style, you know. Today, look, you know, from a certain point of view, United States has even taken leadership in design from that point of view. There are thousands and really, really thousands and thousands of students of, of design coming out in the market every year. And uh, when I was young, <laughs> there were very, very few, as a matter of fact. Rochester Institute of Technology has been collecting archives of the major graphic designers, the master of graphic design. The greatest thing about the RIT instead is that they use the archives as a teaching device, so it becomes very alive all the time. So for that reason, we decided to um, give our archive to RIT. But since it's big, our archive, they had to build a building for it. We designed this kind of a building where it's two cubes. One cube is the closed part, which is the archive, and the other part is the glass cube where they have exhibitions and offices and class, you know, for, for the students. So this is uh, going to be a, a reality in September. September 16, it will be officially open with a big exhibition of our work. And, uh, and from then on, there will be a lot of activities. 
in this building, which is going to be called the Vignelli Center for Design Studies. You have to train yourself to have vision, courage, and determination. These three things to me are very important. You have to work with people that have that, and at the same time you have to have it so that you can install it on people. You can excite them, but you can show that you have a vision. You can show to them what they cannot see. And at the same time, you should not have a fear of failure. This is what marketing is all about, fear of failure. And instead, you know, you have to have courage. Courage not to fail, you know, or courage even to fail. And then on top of it, you have to have the determination to reach your objectives. And so vision, courage, and determination will bring you where you want to go. But without them, it would be a miserable life. Thank you.